contour feathers, which include the feathers which cover much of the body of the bird, including the wing flight feathers and the tail feathers, are veined feathers. On either side of the central shaft or rachis, they possess veins, these flexible sets of barbs. All the veins on either side of the shaft in small contour feathers are symmetrical. In the flight feathers, they are asymmetrical. They are narrower on the anterior side and uh, are wider on the posterior side for aerodynamics. The calamus or quill is the bare region which is hollow and embeds in the skin while the rachis or shaft region is that region which possesses the barbs. The barbs may be thin and flexible. They may be plumulaceous barbs near the proximal end, near the calamus, while they can be more pinaceous or rigid and interlocking towards the distal end of the contour feather. From the shaft, hundreds of barbs run in parallel, composing the vein of the feather. And these barbs, upon closer examination, then branch into barbules, which have even smaller barbicels, which can interlock and thus make the vein of the feather a solid structure, a thin, flat blade. Not all of the barbules possess barbicels. In general, the plumulaceous uh, barbs uh, lack barbicels, uh, while there are more present in the pinaceous barbs. And the flight feathers are composed uh, almost entirely of pinaceous barbs, making them more rigid and stronger. Contour feathers not only cover much of the body of the bird, but they include the flight feathers or remiges. These include the primaries, secondaries, and tertiaries. The veins are primarily pinaceous, and the stiff feathers then function in flight rather than in salation. Contour feathers also include the tail feathers or rectrices.